Hey there, today we'll be doing today's question that is 2 to 5 implement stack using queues. And the question statement given is implement a repo stack using only two queues. The implemented stack should support all functions of a normal stack, push, top, pop, and empty. Implement the mind stack class, wherein push means we push an element to the stack, pop means uh, take out an element from the stack top means return the topmost element of the stack and empty means the stack is empty or not just return a true and false for that and yeah this is it so if you know the implementation of stack it is last and first out right so whatever has been inserted at the last that comes out first so we cannot use a stack here we uh, just need to use queues here on how about going uh, the implementation for queue using uh, sorry stack using queue so how we're gonna do it is first we'll take two queues uh, this is the method that i used at first uh, which came to my mind that is why i implemented this two queue method first and then i uh, eventually did it with one queue so how we're gonna do with two queues so this is my queue one and this is my queue two so whenever I get an element, let's say, I'll just write a test case. Let's say 1, 3, 2, 8, and 0, and 5, 7. Okay. So uh, there will be some pop operations as well here. So I'll just tell you when to do those things as well and how to do that as well. So first, we have an insert operation, let's say, of 1. So I'll push this into my queue. That is 1. Fine. Not a problem. Now what we're going to do is if my size of the queue increases by one what i'm going to do is i'll reverse everything and put it into my queue 2 so what i'll do is right now i've inserted into my queue 1 and i will also insert into my queue 2 now again what i'll do is again i'll insert 3 and a 3 and where am i getting 3 from from here okay this is my insert elements from all the queue now i see that my size of queue has been greater than two now what i'm gonna do is i'll simply reverse this up so what i'm gonna do is i'll just reverse this and how we're gonna reverse this we'll simply just take out elements from the front and insert it again back what do i mean by that is let's say suppose this was my queue right my initial queue had what one and three so what i will do is i'll just take out the element from the first that is it was one right and there was three so what i'll do is i'll take out the element from the first and again insert it back into the same queue that is this so as you can see it has been reversed right three and one so now what i'll do is again i'll insert this two so i've inserted two i've inserted two so again what i'll do is again i'll reverse this queue so how are we gonna reverse this again the same procedure that is just take the first element again put it back into the same queue put the same element again put it back for the same element and put it back right and as you can see this has been reversed right now so all the elements that i had taken are right now reversed right so this is how we are reversing it okay and this is what my initial queue would look like okay so let's now take the example that is given right here and explain so at first what we are having we are having push so we push it into the queue and mind you i told you we'll be using this implementing uh, two queues right and then we'll move on to one queue approach so again insert it here also again a push operation has been performed so again push so one and two has been pushed what did i say whenever my queue size is greater than one just reverse the second queue this is the second queue and this is the first queue so what will be the uh, reversed queue looking like it will be looking something like one two right so this is done now when a top operation is performed i just have to return whatever was at the top so i'll return this two that was at the top right and as you can see if you were implementing using the stack this would eventually be my top element right so this answer is correct which is also here given right here okay and if i need to pop the element i need to pop the first element out right which is whichever uh, element was inserted at the last that is what i would have deleted in my stack so since we're using it using q what i'll do is i'll just simply 
delete it from my second queue that is this one so two has been deleted now i'll have to check if it is empty or not but it still has one element right there right so it is not empty right now so i'll just simply uh, return a false okay so that is it for this uh, intuition as well as the explain okay why did i open the discuss section sorry for that um yeah now let's get to the code part i was actually going to open my submission forum so submission and the second submission which i did so the first submission that i've done is it's using the first uh, only one queue and this uh, submission is done using two cubes so i'll just show you this one okay okay so here we have the uh, approach and how to do it so as i said we inserted into our first queue again inserted our into our second queue and what did we do if our size is greater than one we just reversed the queue and this is the reversing and how this reversing is working on i just explained it to you and if you did not get it again i'll explain it to you here that is let's say this is my queue again this is my queue and you have something like one two uh, three and four okay so if you have something like this at first this is my q1 this is my q2 and what we're going to do is i'll just insert all the elements that is one at first insert in both of the queue is the size greater than two obviously not greater than one sorry obviously not so we'll do nothing now insert two again two has been inserted inserted now as we can see size is greater than one so what we're gonna do is we just want to reverse this how we're gonna reverse this take one insert it at the back and this is how we have this and again what we do is we insert three so now we insert a three right here again we insert a three right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse this how we're gonna reverse this take this two put it back take this one put it back right there okay this is not working here so this is the continuation of the queue okay so one is there so as you can see in my second queue i have something like three to one which is exactly the reversed operation right and so whenever i get a top operation that means whatever is at the top three should have been reversed uh, three should have been sorry uh, popped out or given out to the uh, call function and it is exactly what will be returned to the call function when i uh, make a call for top or a pop out element okay so this is how it's working and this is very simple now after that uh, i'm just doing a pop operation right here this pop out from the second queue and if you have a return from uh, the top you just return a top and if you have an empty just uh, give a q2 dot empty and it will say is it empty or not okay so i hope you have understood this two queue approach and actually this second queue was actually not needed also okay this was just for a simplification which i had done we could also do it using only one queue that is how we're gonna do it is we just simply what we were doing here is that we were maintaining two queues right so this queue and this queue so let's say i insert one two and three and in this queue my elements were like this right three two and one so what happens if i do the reversing in only one queue let's see what happens with an example let's say i have element like one two three four and five okay so at uh, first what is going to happen one is going to come in fine not a problem and mind you i'm uh, i'm explaining the approach with only one queue okay this is the approach for only one queue so now let's get on to it so i inserted one fine by me not a problem size is only one not a problem now again i insert the second element two so if i would have had the second queue as well what would have i done i would have simply just reverse the elements right that would have become uh, two and one so I will do the same exact operation in this queue itself and how we're going to do that take the first element and insert it again back just do it for one time that means if my size is two do it for one time only that is if my size is n do it for n minus one time the operation okay take out from the first insert it back do it for n minus one time now as you can see it has been reversed now let's see the beauty of this code so i have something like two and one in this queue right now again i'll be inserting three 
so if i insert 3 what is my size right now it is 3 so i have to do uh, the operation of insert and put it back how many times two times n minus one time as i said so take this element put it back take this element put it back as you can see my q is already reversed right so this is how my q is looking like right now and if you just keep on doing this operation you will see that this is actually the order in which we wanted it to be since see the input was what one two and three right if it were into if we were using a stack what would we have done one two three this is how it would have looked like and as you can see this is just the reverse and since we are using a queue we will pop out from the front so we'll pop three first as it would have happened in the stack we would pop the second element that is two then again two and again one like in queue and again one like in stack okay so this is how the whole approach goes so instead of doing this into a separate queue i just did it in one queue itself that is right here so this approach that i did was simply for one queue okay so it is nothing just the simple thing that i was doing for q2 everywhere i did it for q2 right this is q2 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 and this is also q2 so i just put a q1 there that is the simplest thing that you have to do and you just have to remove this q1 nothing else this is the exact same code that i have written okay and i have also submitted this as you can see right here i have submitted this just right now and this is working perfectly fine and if you did understand this question as well as the explanation for this question please do like and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching